good fish. Whoa. This guy's taking a lot of line. Woo! Let's, whatever it is, it's good size. He's still running. <laughs> Holy crap. You hear this? I hope I don't get spooled on this little rod. Hey, Lauren. Holy crap. Look at this. Just a little pink epoxy jig. Holy crap. He is way the hell out there. I'd say he took half the spool. Oh man. Back on the uh, beach I do, yep. Holy cow, that cat ran like crazy. It's good size, whatever it is. I can just feel him pumping. I can just feel, feel him pumping, pumping, pumping. I kind of think it might be a big jack, but I really don't know. I don't think a rooster fish would go after the epoxy jig, but who knows, maybe they would. I mean, he really ran like crazy. He is way the heck out there. Big hit. I think it's a big jack, that's what I think it is. Which is fine with me, but see how the rod tip is just pumping, 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 pumping. Well, that's a good surprise. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Look at this. Would you be able to get a little video? Okay. Ready? Yep. My goodness. Jeez, I hope I don't get spooled. I'm glad I filled this up to the gills with lime. Well, maybe it's a good thing we didn't go to Bloody Sunday. <laughs> oh, that would be incredible. I don't know, an epoxy jig though, I wouldn't expect a snapper or a uh, rooster fish to eat the epoxy jig but who knows maybe small rooster that'd be sweet i'm going with a jack like a good size jack revolve oh i just saw him that i might have seen him on the surface out there i'm not sure goes again. Gain back a little line. I got to be careful because the hooks on this epoxy jig are so small and they could easily get bent. You got to really play them. Could have been. <laughs> 
Stay with me. Both. Did you get a couple photos? how much he's running. This is so much fun on this little rod. I do. I, I want to get this guy in so bad. I don't want to take over. Show him it's possible to get a fish. <laughs> get out of there, Pelican. Don't go. Don't hit the line. Pelican went right over. Nope. It's just pounding, pounding, pounding. Thumping, thumping, thumping. I know. Yeah, no kidding. This is the... Definitely the biggest fish I've ever hooked on this little setup. Heads up. Comes a good one. Alright. Wanna get a little more video on your way back? I'm sure I'd already have them in if I had my big setup, but and the uh, the hooks on the epoxy jig are so small. I don't want to put treble. I, yeah, that's a good hook. Yeah, it's just the the hooks on this epoxy jig. If I put too much pressure on the fish, they're just gonna bend right out. Really gotta just take our time here. I hope so. I hope. If I had a guess, I'd say it's a good sized jack. Yeah. I've never caught a rooster fish on an epoxy jig. Yeah. It'd be sweet if it was a small rooster. That'd be great. I think if it was a big rooster, I would have been spooled by now. Because they just. I almost got spooled once on my big setup by a rooster fish. Uh, biggest one I've gotten here was probably 20, 25 pounds, but they get bigger. I've heard of guys getting them up to like 40 pounds. I just saw a huge swirl, like right before it hit. I was like, what the hell is that? And then boom. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, thank God we don't have to deal with that here. I really haven't gained back too much though. just came up to the surface. Maybe a hundred yards. Oh no, that's a different fish right there. That was not my fish. I don't know if you just saw that. Something came up to the right. See the big footprint there?
Yeah, there's definitely some other stuff around. That was not my fish that came up. Jeez, he's going crazy all of a sudden. Is John home? Is John back? Goodness. My goodness. He came up to the surface once. Stuff jump. That was a different fish. Stuff jumping right in front of me. A lot of life today. I'm just slowly walking towards the fish. Gaining line as I'm walking towards them. And I'll slowly backtrack to the beach. Gotta be so careful not to apply too much pressure. Very small hook on this epoxy jig. I don't want to bend that hook. If I put too much pressure on the fish, it's gotta bend that hook and it'll get away.
God, he's just going from right to left, from right to left. Or right to left, left to right, right to left. Oh, man. This is a ridiculous fight on this little rod. Look at that thing pumping. Like a tuna. That'd be sweet if it was a small tuna. What a gorgeous day. January 24th or 25th? See him on the surface. It's probably a hundred plus yards out, right on the surface. Jeez. He's coming back to the right. He just came into the left as if he was gonna go up on the beach, and now he turned around and he's going back out to sea. Slowly gaining on him. Got 20 pound braid connected to a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. 125 pound tactical, tactical angler clip to a three quarter ounce pink Mighty Fish epoxy jig. It's a Vanstall VR50, and this is a Tsunami travel rod, three-piece, seven foot, and it's a very light travel rod, very light. I'm gaining on him fairly well here. Just got to walk towards him and gain a little more line. Might be about 50 yards out, maybe a little more. coming up to the surface. Still not sure what we got on the line. I would guess a big Jack Creval. That's just a guess. I've been fighting this guy for a while. Oh, I just saw him on the surface. Not sure what we got. I'd love to see the dorsal fin of a rooster.
harmful fish, whatever it is. I'm gonna slowly start backing up towards the beach again. I'm getting him in, Mike. He's on the surface right in front of me. We've got a group from my fishing Cape Cod here for the week in Costa Rica. We had a good trip yesterday out on the boat, got some Dorado, hooked and lost some tuna, got some mackerel, and the biggest snapper, one of the biggest snappers I've ever seen. Good. There's a lot of life right now. I've seen several other breaks while I was fighting this guy. Yeah, we got him. He's coming in. Yeah, I saw that too. This guy's coming right into the beach right now. Hey Lauren, you mind throwing the uh, video on your phone on? He's coming right in. He's right in front of Mike. Can you see him? He's like beaching himself. Oh, now he's going back out. He's right in front of me. Oh my God, it's huge. It's a huge jack. Huge jack. It's a monster jack. Really big jack. It's a big jack. That is a nice jack, holy cow. It's one of the biggest ones we've ever gotten from the beach. Yep, right by the tail. If you'd like to, you can. All right, I'm just gonna bring him right up on the beach. It's probably the safest bet. You can grab him if you can. It's right by the tail. Nice. Wow, that is a big jack. Holy cow. Look at that, we got him. What a fish. That guy's a monster. Barely hooked, huh? Nice. Still got some good life to him. We do, but this guy's just too big. Mind if I give that to you? The smaller ones are definitely better. He's still got a lot of energy. Come on, baby. Oh. He just left. He's gone. I think he's good. He just gave a good kick. <laughs> well, that was fun. Oh my god.
gosh, yeah. yeah. It's a little, such a little pull. That was, what a fun fight on that rod, though. Yeah. Holy cow.